Hey guys, what up? Grab yourself a drink. I've already had three, Whoa! so get comfortable. All right, so cool. As a kid, all I ever wanted to do was make movies, write stories, and make music. However, I didn't really have the technology to do so. Nonetheless, in the hood, if there's a will, there's a way, right? I've already made two projects, both with the help of very talented studio engineers and studios in the hood. One in Brooklyn, and the other one in LA. This can be very expensive, and each hour costs a gang of money. Nonetheless, I've saved up a hundred beans, a hundred magical beans, and now I have a home studio, more or less, in the closet. What does that mean? That means I can create my music for much cheap. Secondly, I need to actually learn what the fuck I'm doing because I spent an entire month recording into my microphone backwards, literally not realizing which side was front and which side was back. Anyways, now I finally have the technology to do all of these things. However, I don't have the know-how. So the goal is to create a project that truly reflects the type of music that I enjoy the most, which are toxic love songs. Songs by ain't shit men that really reflect how ain't shit these niggas really be. Toxic love song artists tend to be Drake, Party Next Door, the entire OVO, any nigga from Canada, truly. Typically a lot of cold places. These niggas just be wildin' there. In any case, that presents a few issues with, first, I have to actually figure out how to sing because my vocals are foo-foo. Second, I have to actually learn how to use the audio software that I purchased. Because right now, as an audio engineer, my skills are fugazi. So, nonetheless, if you guys are bored enough to join me in this journey, I will take you through all of the steps that it'll take to release this project appropriately titled. So I wrote a song the other day for the purposes of practice. This song specifically is inspired by my first ever listening to Aquemini by The Outkast, as well as me listening to Lemon Pepper Freestyle by Drake and Rick Ross. Even though I want to make an album that's probably going to be more R&B and like chiller hip hop, rap is probably the easiest genre to edit in terms of music editing and in terms of not having to auto-tune my vocals and then just heading into the studio, doing one take and then dipping out, so I chose rap. Alright, cool, we're gonna show you some of the behind the scenes. You ready? And... This year I told them that I'm strictly drinking bubbly water. I'm still a same nigga, I just been feeling somewhat older. Hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm gonna play some of the music that we already have for you guys. This year I told them that I'm strictly drinking bubbly water. I'm still the same nigga, I just been feeling somewhat older. Ain't no racist or coast that will fuck a white man daughter. You can call me crazy, hit one time, I never call her. I'm at a touch, I'm steady managing like several projects. They pay me so much, man, they still don't know I'm from the projects. My mama come, but she a pro, don't know what you should call that. I'm doing well, I guess I only had to trust the process. Look. Way mother wrote them broke nowadays. It's like a villain, no more drinking that minute mate. I used to have to check my bank account on dinner dates. Now I got enough and I give a fuck when I'm getting paid. Cause I do, cause I said, I do. Kinda just to make sure that the money's right. Oh yeah, I'm pussy, but that don't mean I cannot fight. Talk to me right, cause you don't know where niggas from. Smart mouth looking at you like, is you dumb? Spin sheets in the winter, I ain't have a quill. White guilt, got them talking about spilled milk. Yo, I'm sorry, Max. Crazy if you ask me. And that's it. 